In the last video, I showed an example of what an abstract syntax tree could look like. Let's keep this structure in mind and let's actually write a couple of classes. Open up your editor and create an AST package. The syntax tree is going to be made up of nodes. So let's go ahead and create a base interface called node. And the only item that we want the children of the node interface to implement is token lexeme, which is a method that will return the lexeme of the token associated with the node. All of our source code can essentially be boiled down to statements and expressions. Expressions produce values while statements do not. So we are going to create statement and expression interfaces. These are going to inherit from our base node class. Statement node is going to have a marker method called statement node that will help guide us as we go. Same thing for expression node. These marker methods aren't totally necessary, but will help us separate the two interfaces and catch errors like using a statement where an expression is expected and vice versa. With these interfaces complete, let's create our first real implementation of the node interface called program. This program node is going to be the root of our abstract syntax tree. Each program is just going to be a series of statements, which we store here in the statements array. For the implementation of the token lexeme method, we are just going to return the lexeme of the first statement node. If there are no statements, we return an empty string. Now remember the let statement grammar that we covered in the last video. A let statement is let id equality expression. We can represent this as an implementation of our statement interface. Let's call it let statement. And looking at the grammar, we can determine what fields we would want to store in this class. We need a field for the ID, the expression that will produce a value, and we will store the let token as well. Let statements do not produce values, so it will be a type of statement node. So we will implement that marker method. We will also implement the token lexeme method, which is just going to return the lexeme of our token field. Here, for the name property, we are using an identifier class, which we will now create. It will inherit from node, and more specifically, it will inherit from our expression interface. Remember that expressions are nodes that will produce values, and while an ID and a let statement won't produce a value, we will eventually have identifiers that do. So for now, we can just think of this as a node wrapped around our ID token with a string that corresponds to the value. We then implement expression node to mark this as an expression, and the token lexeme method will return the lexeme of our ID token. And with this in place, a let statement like let x equal to nine could be represented in our tree like so. The program node will have an array that has one statement, a let statement. The let statement will have an identifier node and an expression node that corresponds to the value. So now that technically we can build a very simple tree from a let statement, we can actually start work on our parser. So head to the next video and we will get started creating that.